And let's look at the four tissue types to be reviewed more in depth in lab. So I'll title this four tissue types, and this is just an overview. Our first type is epithelial. Epithelial tissue can be abbreviated ET, and by the word epi, that should tell you that this is tissue that is above the other tissues, meaning it is superficial to other tissues. Now it can be superficial inside the body, meaning it can be the uh, layer that is lining, as in the inside, the lumen of, for example, uh, blood vessel, where it would be called an endothelial tissue, or say the stomach, intestines, ureters, etc. Those are tissues that are facing the inside of a passageway. So literally they are the most surface, even though they were inside the body. The other place where epithelial tissue is found is as coverings. So it's lining or covering. And this would be the outside of the body. such as the skin. That's the easiest one to think about. And the membranes, such as those in the oral mucosa, the vaginal, uh, or the anal mucosa. So we have lining and covering. Okay, second tissue type is connective tissue. And connective tissue does exactly what its title says. We'll call it CT for short. It connects things. So don't overlook the obvious there. And it's for stretch. Strength, networking, so let's just call it a network, like a mesh, and for protection. Some examples of these are going to be blood, bone, There's dense regular, dense irregular. There's all kinds of connective tissue. Let me not go down that path right now. Okay, the third type, and again, this is just an overview, is muscle tissue, muscle tissue is for movement, obviously moving the skeleton, generating heat through shivering and or just uh, motion, and then energy storage. It contains myoglobin, which can store oxygen as well, but we will focus on that during the muscle chapter. And our fourth type is nervous tissue. And this one is, most of you know already, it conducts 
or let's use a better word, propagates electricity. Propagates electrical impulses. Also serves us for memory. Now we're thinking about the bo uh, brain. <laughs> so I don't know how mine's working right now. And personality, etc. Anything found in the brain. So now we've got four types of tissue. We can think of connective muscle. And nervous tissue is going along with epithelial tissue. 